What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you who don't know, my name is Chris Moore and in today's video, we got a very special guest on the show, but that's coming up later guys. We're going to introduce you to him here in just a little bit, but first let me introduce you to his bike. This is a 2022 Hayabusa. Yeah, I know it. You've seen plenty of them on the channel, but this one's a little different. It's a completely stock bike with a Yoshimura full AT2 exhaust system and a Sprint P08 air filter. So this thing here is a new exhaust that we're testing from Yoshimura on this customer's bike. This is a very nice system and it sounds really, really good. You see a nice big baffle, nice big opening. The thing is pretty loud slash deep, but yet at five, 6,000 RPM, 3,000 RPMs cruising, it's not that bad. And the good thing is it comes out behind your head, your ears, so it's not gonna be that bad of drone on the highway. Overall, so far, super impressed. The only thing I see that's gonna hold it back a little bit on top end power wise is the way the tubes are. Uh, in other words, the headers are a little small, which is gonna kink up our horsepower just a little bit, but you can see it goes small here, but it gets really big here, and that's where you get that sound, but we're also getting good torque. We're gonna get this thing run, unrestrict the ECU, which they don't have tons of restrictions in them anyways, but we're gonna dial in the air fuel ratio, get this thing right, take the top speed limiter off, lower the fan temps, all that stuff in this video, and much, much more coming towards the end, so make sure you stick around for the whole thing, guys. Here we go. So we're riding the ECU now. We are uh, not gonna get into a ton on this video as to how much restrictions are in this bike and what all we can do in the ECU. We have several other videos showing that on our channel. So make sure you go back and scroll through other ones. If you're new to the party, welcome. Check out a little bit about what we got. Anyways, we started out with a baseline pull on this bike at 171.5 horsepower and 103 foot-pounds of torque. So far, we got our air fuel ratio pretty well dialed in where we want it. We are at 106.99 torque and 176 horsepower. So everywhere throughout the whole entire RPM curve, we've got a couple horsepower. Not to mention that it's going to smooth out a good bit riding because we're getting the air fuel ratio dialed in everywhere on the cruising part. We're going to have it fired up, have it running here in just a second, and you will be able to see what this thing sounds like.
finished with the tune on this booze don't go away though we got more in this video there is more to the video than the dyno run okay guys so we started out 171 50 103 foot pounds of torque we ended up with one focus 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 178 67 and 109 56 torque so picked up about six pounds of torque there that's at 7,000 rpms in our biggest horsepower gain was it about 8700 and we picked up 10 horsepower there. So overall, super, super good. Even on top end, uh, around 10,000, 177 to 169. So eight horsepower there. So if you have one of these boosts, do not rev it to 11,000 something RPMs, okay? We extend the rev limiter on them, and that's not necessarily because we want you to rev it farther. That's because if you were to ever do something in the future, bigger cams, bigger something, you're gonna wanna rev this bike higher. With the stock cams that it has in the factory engine configuration, they do not like to be revved, okay guys? So 10,000, that's our need to be our shift point, 10, 10, two at most, uh, because you see our torque is nosing back off crazy hard right here. Even though our horsepower still pulls a little, uh, or basically two 10,000, our torque is nose diving. We're at 93 foot pounds of torque. So let's just say if we shift it around 10, 9,800, that's gonna put us at 178 horsepower, but that's gonna take our torque from 94 and we're gonna fall back in here to around the 8,500 range and that got our torque up super high. So th that's gonna make the bike pull harder and go faster than what it would be if you're revving it on out. Cause I think a lot of people that got our flash are like, yeah, I went slower to the track. And I think that's because they're revving it past 11,000 something RPMs. And that's where you're going the wrong direction. Just because the bike is capable of revving that high doesn't mean you should rev it that high. That's enough blabbering on the dyno. Let's get into some fun stuff. All right, guys, the Busa is finished. This Yoshimira exhaust came out super, super good. I'm super impressed with how it looked. You notice we also wrapped the fairing trim here. So this is normally chrome on all the new Busas. We took this off, took it apart, had it vinyl wrapped. It is now satin black. I think that looks a whole lot better chrome. I mean, black versus chrome. Cheap mod, cheap upgrade. We actually keep an extra set of these things in stock. So you can actually buy them, pay a core charge. We mail them to you. You take your bike apart, put them on, put it back together, mail us the old ones. We refund you the core charge back. It's only 150 bucks to get the, I guess you would say the delete 
plus the core charge. Anyways, this thing turned out super good. This customer liked it so much, he got a second one while he's here. Guess how much he paid for the second bike? Yeah, we hooked him up, guys. 300 bucks. What? 300 bucks for a new Busa? Yeah, that guy right there, that's number 80 in the latest <laughs> Busa giveaway. Yeah, that's right, guys. He already had a 22 Busa. He was already scheduled to come today for a Busa Dino. He just so happened to be coming to get a Busa bike. Also, 300 bucks. Congratulations, Brian. Brian is from Florida. He come all the way up to pick up his new bike. What do you think, dude? Love it. Love Worth it. the price you paid? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Loving it. Two. <laughs> two boosters you can't beat it more mafia hooked them up we got him the extra horsepower but better yet we got him a whole bike he bought two spots only one of them paid off that's all it took guys 150 bucks got him the bike carbon fiber wheels brox performance exhaust more mafia dyno tune velocity stack thanks to all our sponsors who helped out on this this giveaway this build thanks to brian thanks to his wife for actually going in and supporting our giveaways it paid off big time for them thanks for watching guys be sure to subscribe to the channel we will be doing another giveaway soon like labor day weekend september 1st ish we'll announce more details coming soon we'll announce what bike is coming soon click the bell for notifications subscribe so you know when we're doing all this stuff smash that like button thanks for watching guys we'll see you next time